welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. Good morning. God bless you. Shalom. It is Monday and I hope that you are having a wonderful start to your week. Today I want to delve into John 14 where Jesus repeatedly talks about how if we love him, we are to follow his commandments. So grab your coffee and let's get started. Let your heart not be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how, oh, excuse me, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you um, have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, but it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. A little while longer, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me, because I live, you live also. At that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to join him, join him and make our home with him. He who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while being present with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I told you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I am going to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes, that when it does come to pass, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you. For the ruler of this world is coming, and he has nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, so I do. Arise, let us go from here. This uh, John 14 just absolutely gripped me over the weekend. Um, because it says so much about who Jesus is. Um, he is one with our Heavenly Father. So he came in the flesh. He is God in the flesh. Um, he was slain from the foundation of the world. If you go back and read the um, Old Testament of the Bible, Jesus is mentioned um, beginning in Genesis, you know, all the way through. 
just uh, let God reveal the word to you because um, he's there. He is talked about throughout the entire Old Testament. But Jesus specifically says that if anybody loves him, we keep his commandments, we keep his word. And so that is uh, why it's so important to read your Bible and to know the Word of God because um, we want to follow Jesus. We want to keep His Word and keep His commandments because we love Him as believers and followers of Jesus Christ. Um, you must be born again with the Holy Spirit. So if you're not saved, then I urge you, because we don't know how much time we have left on this earth, um, and also I really do feel the stirring in my spirit along with a lot of other believers um, in these times that we're living in right now and I do believe that Jesus return is going to be coming much sooner than um, some people think. Uh, we're seeing a lot of signs around the world um, on a daily basis. So I urge you if you're not saved, call out to Jesus. Just call out to him surrender yourself to him because that's what you have to do surrender yourself believe wholeheartedly that god sent him to die in your place to take your punishment on the cross and that he was raised three days later and is seated at the right hand of the father in heaven um, believe in him and ask him to fill you with his holy ghost so i hope that this has been an encouragement to you the scriptures are absolutely beautiful they come to life because this is a living and holy word this is god's word so i hope you have a blessed week and i will see you next time bye